Spam calls and messages are among the most annoying things we face daily. Yes, you can block spam calls and messages on any Android device with inbuilt options, but it's not as effective as you want it to be. Of course, there are third-party apps that block spam calls a bit more effectively. Truecaller is the most popular spam blocker app, but that too has some limitations and drawbacks. The first drawback is that it's not privacy friendly. You have to sign up with your Google account, set the app as the default phone app, and give access to your contacts, files and messages. It consumes significant internet data, drains your phone's battery, shows a lot of intrusive ads, and it's not completely free. That's why I stopped using it and started using open source spam blocking apps along with the inbuilt Android features that exist on all Android devices. To find the spam blocking options on your phone, launch the default phone app, tap on the three dots, go to settings, enable any option that's similar to the caller ID and spam protection, and turn on the option that says block all spam and scam calls. This will block spam calls and messages to some extent, but it won't be as effective as you want. To make it more effective, I use a third-party spam blocker app along with these settings enabled. I have two app suggestions, both are good at what they do, so I'll show you how to use both and you can pick the one you like. The first one is one of the easiest and efficient apps to block spam calls and messages. It's called Carry On and it's open source. All you need to do is install the app, launch it, tap the three dots, download the databases of the reported and high confidence numbers and enable these two options to silence and block spam calls. After setting it up, you have to set the app as the default spam filter on your device settings. To do that, go to your phone settings, apps, tap the default apps option and set carry on as the default caller ID and spam filter app. That's it. It will automatically detect phone numbers without digital certification and block them automatically. It doesn't offer extra options, but it does what it's supposed to do. I've never received a spam call since I started using this incredibly privacy-friendly spam blocker. If you want to have even more control over the spam call blocking, try the spam blocker app. It does the same job but offers more options for control. For instance, you can block any number that you get calls repeatedly from in a short period, enable the spam blocker for a specific duration, you can block calls from spoofed numbers, set unique rules for different numbers, block messages containing certain words and more. If all these options are overwhelming, use the app with the STIR and database options enabled or choose the first app and forget about the spam calls and messages. The best part is that you can continue using your default phone and messaging apps with these spam blockers as they act only as a middleman checking every phone number before it reaches your device. And most importantly, both are open source and ad free. So that's an efficient way to block spam calls and messages on any Android device. Try it out and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like the video if it works for you and subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.